What is an odd behavior of yours you think only you do? I hold my breath when someone walks by in a confined space because I don't want to breathe their essence in. I don't know. Well, neither do I. <laughs> I rub my feet together in a circular motion when I'm in bed and getting ready to sleep. My boyfriend calls it cricketing. I kind of do this with my legs sometimes. I do sort of understand this one. I've got this weird habit when I return home. I walk into my room, right past the spot I put my wallet and keys, then go to the bathroom with the door closed. When I come back out, I put my wallet keys where they go. Why do I bring them in with me? Just in case the bathroom gets sent back in time, it would be useful to have some of that stuff. No, I don't expect this will ever be a necessary precaution, but since I waste no time doing it, my dog and I have arguments when he barks. He will hear someone in our hallway outside and start barking every time. I tell him, shh, and he barks again, slightly less loudly this time. This continues until I can barely hear him, but he has got to get the last word in. Drives me up the wall. I do the same with my cat. We have full-on conversations and arguments. My hands being wet makes me angry. I'm not a confrontational, aggressive person, but if my hands are wet and someone came at me, I'd probably be four times more likely to be aggressive back at them. I talk to my food like I'm torturing it while I cook it. Yes, I live alone. Crappy German accent while making an omelette. There are the mushrooms. Not speaking. Perhaps I shall increase the heat. Holy crap, this is my highest upvoted thing ever, and first goal. I'm super glad you all enjoy this. I'll give a YouTube video a shot if I can figure out how to edit. I would 100% watch your cooking show. When a page is taking a long time to load on my laptop, I rotate my index finger clockwise, and it makes me feel like it makes the page load faster. There was an article here a few months ago about how moving your mouse back and forth actually made things go faster in old versions of Windows. That is insane. I have a habit that somewhat resembles what autistic people do when they're overstimulated. When I'm alone at home and something positive happens, get some good news, get invited somewhere fun, etc., I slap my head almost like I'm playing the bongos. It happens a lot and actually feels really good, like I'm getting a serotonin rush. In grade four, I met one other person who did it. She called it the woogies, which I still think is amazing. I think chimpanzees do this. I have noticed I often sniff when I enter a room, so I don't scare people by just talking out of nowhere. Your friends probably think you've got a crippling cocaine habit. I get weird compulsions that I need to touch between my pinky fingers or touch my armpit. It's more like a tickling sensation that builds up until I have to relieve it by touching it. I have no idea what causes this, and I haven't heard of anyone else that has to do this. Maybe some form of mild OCD? Frequency of the sensation is constant. Every few seconds, though, I feel the intensity of the feeling comes in waves. I knew a girl with Tourette's that described this, but instead of touching to relieve the sensation, she had to hit it. She was just constantly hitting herself. When I wake up for work, sometimes I have the good chills about certain things, like the AC console in my car might look like a cockpit and it sends good chills down my spine. It's like the time before I have to be at work is a cozy little mini time. There is no way in hell I can explain this in words. I have always called it the morning weird. Man, I hope there is someone else out there that knows what I'm talking about. Yep. I get them. Usually as I get my day going, and especially there's something cosy about my drive into work that strikes me, like when I get a really good podcast and I have my coffee and suddenly I take it all in, it's like a tiny little joygasm that gives me a shivery boost. Every time I bend over to pick something up, I pretend I just unknowingly dodged a bullet from some faraway sniper trying to take me out. Sometimes I shoot finger guns for no reason. Stop dodging. In the shower, I slowly rotate to keep myself evenly warm. I do it unconsciously now, like a rotisserie chicken. According to this highly unscientific poll, 6% of people do this. Does this same number correlate with how you sleep? I fall asleep on my back and constantly rotate like a sausage. Sometimes I wonder if there's actually people who can see into your mind, so I start thinking about really interesting things, so if there is, they won't think I'm boring. I scream as loud as I can, mentally, and think of really up shit. If they look uncomfortable after that, I then know that they can. I'll sometimes do the Homer Simpson bit. I know you can read my thoughts, boy. Meow, 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 meow. And if there's no reaction, I feel safer. 